new node alert, new cycles feature alert. Yes, not everything is EV these days. There is a new node joining the node editor, the shader editor, that will make our life so much simpler when shading hair. So there is already a, a, a hair shader in, in Blender, but it takes a lot of uh, setting up. And the same concept that uh, we had uh, recently, last year, with the principal BSDF, this latest, this uh, ultimate shader for PVR looking uh, surfaces and skin and everything. That same concept that was later also introduced for the principal volume shader, which makes making volume shaders easier. Now it's applied, applied to the hair. So there's a prin principal hair BSDF that it's so much simpler and it just looks so cool. So. Yes, it's a new node and you will just find it like in the rest of like the, the list of the nodes. It's called Principal Hair BSDF and it just looks amazing. Look, this, this looks like a render that will take ages, but it's actually 40 seconds here. And uh, it's uh, it not only looks good, but it's also very, very fast. So what are the settings? It's very simple, just in the, the nature of the principle. It's uh, you have a few settings. So the one that you're gonna use the most usually is, is one of these three models, which is the melanin concentration. So you basically you basically set up a level of melanin on your hair. So zero, you're full on albino, and then you can go a little bit more, and then you get this nice blonde hair. The more you go, it gets darker, and if you go full on, you get something like this. I like to think that I, I am somewhere here instead, but no. So yeah, that's basically it. With one slider, you can get this awesome uh, looking hair. Of course, you can apply more more ticks to it, so you can make it a bit more red if you want to have it more of a, if a yeah, more red. And you see, it is so nice. It just naturally, it just looks good. And uh, yeah, you can go nuts. So, and remember these sliders, the number that shows up here is the safe numbers, but you can <laughs> you can always just like go nuts. So yeah, uh, in, input the number manually, but don't do it unless you wanna go crazy with the colors, which you can if you want. There is a tint color that will help you add a little bit of a color variation on top of the melanin. So you get a bit more of a, yeah, when people dye their hair, but a bit uh, a bit more natural looking. If you want completely unnatural or just have full control over the color, you can always change from melanin concentration to the direct coloring um, uh, version of the model of this principal VSDF, which will override it, will look uh, completely with this color. When would you use this? Well, maybe when you already have a texture that you in want to map into this node, like uh, as a color, so that way it's uh, so it has a bit less control, but it's not as natural looking as this. This one actually has a lot more control. Then the last one is very specific, is when you want to, like when you really want to have the one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> uh, like you're following a paper or something and you really want to have a more precise detail on it. But otherwise go with the melanin concentration, which is much, um, it's so easy to use. You also have roughness, so for to control how specular, um, your how, how the light distributes over your um, over your strands, and you also have ra radial roughness, which I uh, yeah I would make it. You can play with this to get the the shiny level of fit. This is one of the few <laughs> one of the great examples of how things should go. You get the feature and you get awesome. Um, documentation in the Blender manual, in docs.blender.org, there's already documentation which you can follow just to see how each individual settings affect. So it's so, so nice. So the other settings, code, you will add like a layer of like specularity on top of it. So you can have like more like a grease or gel or wet hair, for example, you can control that. And then the other settings like in the of refraction, unless you're trying to achieve like more of a different kind of uh, thick hair, or like animal hair, for example, you can change those. But otherwise it's the default settings are pretty um, okay. Like the offset, the offset basically, I um, was asking uh, <laughs> uh, hair scales, I was asking, Brecht about it because it was added like just now. So basically the offset will change the um, the 
angle of it of each scale so to speak but those settings you never change just just go with these ones on top and then you can also add a, a random color this one yeah is pretty useful because it will add per strand an individual color difference on top of the melanin so it will make it a bit more um, um, yeah, more random so it looks a bit more realistic and you can also change the roughness which is the same as this one but uh, random per strand so lots of options there but here on the top are the ones that you're going to change the most and it's just so simple you don't have to add all the million nodes that you had before so this is fantastic it looks great it's based on a paper from uh, from uh, the same kind of hair that was used for Zootopia for example so yeah you get uh, you, you can get exact same thing you know it's fantastic so yes go test it it's in Blender 2.8 and it's also in Blender Master so the development version of 270 like the one after 2.79 that is still based on 2.7 that has um, that doesn't have the UI from 2.8, but still has have a lot of improvements, uh, already has it. So if you're working with that, you can already try it or uh, just uh, use 2.8. It's, it's right there. And credits time. Yes, this is part of a Google Summer of Code. It's the first project of 2018 to be merged already. Like Summer is still going and it's already merged. So, so cool. Congrats, Leonardo Segovia and Lucas Stogner as part of the Google Summer of Code. This is from fantastic so um, yes so exciting finally we have nice looking hair nice greasy hipster hair ah yeah speaking of history actually this this file has a few more uh, <laughs> haircuts so yes thanks to Chris Chupa Chupka for this uh, uh, blend file providing this blend file to test so all these crazy hairdos and there is one here the first one, I it's like a, oops, this one, <laughs> nice. Ah, let me go here, right there. There, it looks like our own character artist, Julian. Yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, uh, I'll go play with this. So you also should go play with this, download Blender, 2.8 or the uh, master version from today and go play with it. I will see you again. Uh, yeah, by the way, I moved to a new office. Now I'm standing. I actually can do exercise and stuff. Um, okay, now off topic. I will see you again in the next video. Ciao.